Hello Divination, we have an awesome giveaway for you today. And this giveaway is a Star Wars Rogue One inspired layout pack we are calling Divi Star. All the files needed to make this layout work are all included in the show notes below. So go ahead, download them, and I'll show you in a minute step by step how to put this together. Thanks to Gino Kiros for uh, putting this layout design together for us. So we thought this will be both fun and useful to put a theme based layout design, which you can also follow step by step and implement in your designs. So without wasting a lot of time, let me show you how to import all these files and make them work for you. So before we get started, let's get through a few things. So in order for you to download the layout pack, you need to go to the link I provided in the show notes. When you click the link, you get to this page. These are the files that are associated with the layout. So what you need to do is to first subscribe for in order for you to download the layout pack. Now, what I've done is I've gone ahead and, and subscribed. And when you subscribe, you then see this button here. So if you click once on it, it then downloads the layout pack onto your computer. Right. So and also the other thing I need to touch on is the photos that we're going to use in this layout all come from unsplash.com and Pixabay. These are free to use in your project. And also this layout pack, we've produced it under the GPL license, which means you can use this on both your personal and commercial projects. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let me show you how to import all these files to make this layout work. Right, so here I've got a plain WordPress install and I'm logged into my WordPress admin dashboard. So I've gone ahead and downloaded the layout, uh, the layout pack which is in my downloads folder. So the first thing I need to do is to go into my downloads folder and uh, unpack the, the folder. Okay, so I'm here in my downloads folder and we see we can see here the David Star layout pack. So I'm gonna double click to uncompress all those files and then we can see that these are all the files that are associated with uh, the layout. The next thing I also uh, need to do here is to unpack the featured images, which I'm going to use uh, when it's time to add the uh, posts in the actual layout. So I'm going to double click on that. And so that uncompresses the images and we can see that the images are now here. Okay, so now it's time to import the files. So the first thing we need to do here is to go to Divi, Divi library. And then we're going to go ahead and click on the import and export button. And then we're going to click on import, choose file. And this is now where we navigate to where we unzip that folder, which is right here. And the file that we need, which has the whole layout is the all dvstart.json. So this will have the whole page layout that we need. So I want to go ahead and double click on all dvstart.json because that's the file I need in order for me to create my page. So I'm going to go ahead and click on import dv builder layout. Okay, so that's imported now. And just to confirm that we can see that these are the files that come up that come with it. So next, what we're going to do now is to create the page. So I'm going to go to add new. And then I'm going to call this page DV star. And then I'm going to click on use the DV builder. Now it's time to import that layout. So to do that, I'm going to click on load from library. Add from library. And we can see this is the layout that we imported earlier on. So I'm going to click on load. And these are the sections that we need to make this layout work. So I'm going to go ahead and click on publish. So let's take a quick look and see what the layout looks like so far. So I'm going to open a new tab and just click the page. So we can see here we're off on a good start but still we have a bit of work. So we can see these areas here do not have any images and they also need content. So the next stage is to import the posts that, we, that were used in the actual um, design of the page. To, in order to do that, we're gonna go to tools and then we're gonna click on import. All the way down here we have WordPress and then we need to click on run importer. So this is going to pull all the files that we used to create this blogs. Okay, so I'm gonna click on choose file. And then in that folder that we uh, downloaded, 
we have a file which has an extension of .xml. So we're gonna click on that, click open, and then I'm gonna click on upload files and, uh, and import. And then here I'm gonna make sure that I assign the post to an existing user and that's me. And then I'm just gonna click on import for, uh, and download and import file attachments. Click on submit. And you can see here we have no errors. So that's looking good. Okay, so now we're gonna go to post and then we can see that all the posts have now been installed on our blog. Okay, so that's looking very good. We're gonna come here and do a quick preview and see if those posts are now showing. And if we scroll down here, we have all the categories and we also have the posts here. Now you can see what's missing here are the images. So what we need to do is to assign the featured images to each and every post. So to do that, all you need to do is to click on edit and then we're gonna go right here to the bottom and then click on set featured image. Okay, so instead of adding one featured image at a time, it's gonna take me a long time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna import all the images that I need for the featured images and then assign those as I go through all the posts. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna to go to the media library and then import all the files I need. So I'm gonna click on add new, select files, and remember, earlier on, we unzipped this, uh, these images, the featured images. So these are the images that, are, that I'm going to need now. So I'm just going to highlight all these images like that and then click open. So that's a bulk import. So I have all the images that I need for my post now. Right. So now that we have all the images, we can now go to all the posts and then start adding the images. The first image I'm going to do here is this one. So for now, I'm just going to add all these images. Set featured image. And then after you've set the featured image, you just click update. So I'm going to do one more because the process is the same. So I'm going to come again here to all posts. And then I'm going to click on edit. Set featured image. Then I'm going to click on the image set as featured image. So go ahead and do the rest of the images. And then when you're done, if you go to your uh, page, you'll then see that your posts now have images like that. Okay, so that's looking good so far. So as you add these posts, you need to make sure that you, al you also add the categories to these posts because this is what makes it show on your website properly. So if we do a quick refresh on this page, we can now see that um, these are in the right category. So we've got leaks, we've got events, and also we have the featured article. These are all in the right categories. Okay, so now that we've, we've, we've got that in place, next what we need to do is to add the gallery right here. So let's go to the gallery section. So let's go to the page. I'm gonna click on edit. And then I'm going to click on Visual Builder. Right, so we're here in the front on the front end builder. So what we need to do is to scroll all the way down to the gallery section here. And then we need to add a single row. Okay, so after we've done that, now we need to add the module, the gallery module. So I'm just going to click on gallery. Now what we need here is six images. So I am gonna disable the show title and caption and also the pagination. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click on update gallery. So here I'm gonna click on my six images. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. Click update gallery, add to gallery, update gallery. So those are my six images showing. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that and also click here and save the changes on the page. So next we can see here at the top section of our header area, we are missing the logo and also we need to change this color, this color to black. So in order to do that, we need to come back here to the dashboard and then we're gonna go to Divi Theme Customizer. So here on the Theme Customizer, what we need to do is to go to the header and navigation area and then we're gonna click on primary menu bar. So the text color needs to be white. 
So as I change the color here, you can see it disappearing there, but that's going to be fixed once we add the background color. Okay, so now that we've got that, um, next what we need to do is to add the background color. So I'm going to click here on the background color and then just select black. So now you can see our text is now showing. Okay, so now that we've done that, I'm going to go ahead and click on save and publish. Now it's time to add the logo. To add the logo, we need to go here, come down here to the theme options. So I'm going to go ahead and click on upload, upload files, select files. So I have my logo saved here in the downloads folder and uh, I'm just going to find it and here it is. Click open and then I'm going to go ahead and set as logo. So once I've done that, I'm going to scroll all the way down here and then click on save changes. So with that, this should be completed. And now we can see that we've achieved the design of this layout. So there you have it. Thanks a lot for watching. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and do keep an eye on our social media platforms because we will be producing more and more of these videos and be sure to subscribe so that you're notified every time we produce a video. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.